Hey, hey, kiddos. It's Tango with Sue. Hello. Hold on. Hi. <laughs> it's not about me today. I know, right? It's not about me. Let me see if I can put this in here. Um, so here's the deal. I want nothing more than to post this comment. Good grief. Um, I want nothing more than to work on the piece with you, the big, beautiful piece. But here's the thing. I keep losing track of what color is what. It's, I'm making myself insane. And so um, before we do that, we need to <laughs> make labels for these things. Here, I'm putting this in. And I need you guys to help me do it today. So what I did is I happen to have these little sticker paper, pa pages, stickers, whatever they're called. Tell me if the fan is too loud, you guys, too. Um, I need to turn off autofocus, I think. Uh, and what I want to do today is take every color, okay? Because these, as, as I've already kind of showed you guys, these look nothing, nothing like how they look in reality when they're put on. Uh, comment if you're here. Let me know that we got through. Um, I tried going live on Facebook, that's why I'm sorry I'm late, and they were just all kind of crazy over there, and I couldn't even get the live stream set up, so I'm going through um, Ecamm. Oh, I saw some, I saw some love, yay. Okay, so I, I hope this isn't a boring live. Y'all know I really don't want to ever have a boring live, but I do feel like, I'm trying to put, um, oh, comments. Okay, there we go. There it is. Hey, Karen. Hey, Shaz. I, I don't want to have a boring live, but I feel like this has to be done. It has to be done. And so, I, as we all know, with ADHD, you like to have company when you do things. And so, y'all are going to keep me company. That's what's going to happen. Y'all are keeping me company. So, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And, all right, we've got to figure out how to do this. So, for example, okay, let's take the first one. So, crystal ball. And I've got these, so they're going to go right on the bottom, right? Right on the bottom. But here's the thing, um, so that means I have to take this off because if I cover it, I'm still not going to know. How ridiculous is that? So we need to very carefully, oh, this is going to be a boring live if I don't learn how to do this a little faster. We have to very carefully take this off. All right, so crystal ball. I'll try to speed this up, kiddos, and I'll definitely make a compilation of this. So now we know we're going to put the name right here. Okay, boom, please don't fall off. Please don't fall off, because then it'll totally be done and done. Let me go into my settings and see if I can turn off um, autofocus. Give me one second. Restore default, no, come on now, come on. Um, advanced, it's really, is it advanced? Autofocus, off. Oh no, it's on. Oh geez, Louise. Okay, whatever. We'll we'll make do. So let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's stop. Let's stop wasting time, right? Okay. So what did I just say? This was crystal ball. Um, it's storming out there. All right. So see how white that is. Hopefully that's. Um, you guys can see that. All right. So we're gonna go on here, and we're gonna go to this one. And let's see if we can get it. There we go. And even, I'm going to go outside the edges. And I'll lift it up so you guys can see it better, too. Let me pull back a little bit. I'll lift it up so you can see it. Um, do we need a little bit of light source on it for you guys? I think we need to just kind of go over it. Um, will y'all bear with me if I get to set up my light source? Because I think you're going to need that to see what's happening. Maybe it's already plugged in. It is already plugged in. Oh my god! That's so awesome! Things are already there. Okay. So now we can kind of see. Sorry. There we go. Okay, there we go. Look at that, I figured it out. So now let's we're gonna put this back. Never boring so inspiring. <laughs> I'm glad, you guys, because sometimes I feel like, all right, let's get it together. 
Let's get it together. They don't need to see the behind every scene. But then I'm like, you know what? You know what? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Because they got to see all the craziness that goes, goes on and on. All right, let me see if I can get that to focus there. So let's take that off. Okay. And then let's put that on camera. Sorry, I have to see where the camera is. I've got my Logitech camera right there. And we're going we're gonna to press that down. <gasps> I'm brilliant. I mean, you know, kind of brilliant. So now we know that this is crystal ball and this is how it shimmers. Shall we do a couple more? And I want to make sure you guys can see it going in different directions. There. Ah, there you go. Okay. It's very hard to kind of get the shimmer. So that goes from like a pink to a blue. Okay? Okay. Yay. We'll let that dry. Phew! That was not easy. That was not easy. All right, let's do another one. I mean, it is kind of fun. So look at this one. This is Sorcerer. Um, I don't know if it's worth me pulling it up and going out of focus and all that stuff. Let me just um, picture settings. Mirror, rotate. Yeah, I can't seem to get it. Um, uh oh, that's manual focus. That's not good. All right, we'll stick with that. All right, so this one is Sorcerer. So the thing is, I gotta get these off the bottom. I hope uh, Marilyn's not mad at me. And I know my fingers aren't dirty. I mean, they are. But I was painting a bunch of things black. So this is Sorcerer. I don't wanna mess with it too much because it'll lose its stick. But let's look at how that one looks on here. And wipe off all the other. We don't need as much as I did last time. Get it centered. Sorcerer is similar, but it's not. Um, all right, so and here are some of the things that are going to be happening with these super shifters. As you guys have probably seen, they are not on my website. They are not on my website because I am just sending you directly to Miss Lillian's site. It's just going to be easier. There, so this one's purple to blue. Purple to blue. See how that goes? Now, normally I would wait a few minutes for it to dry, but if I do that, um, I'm going to forget what's what. I'm going to completely forget what's what. So, but I am aware, I am aware, and, and, and um, Marilyn, Miss Lillian, is also aware that we need to get better, um, sorry, I need to set this down, better videos on there for you guys and better images so you guys can really see the shift. Um, and know what you're getting. All right, so let's see. There we go. So there's the blue. And then if we go this way, you can see it goes from that purple to that teal color. All right, two down, 57 more to go. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Look into retailing these in my shop. Eleanor, so in order to retail these, absolutely, um, you will need to become a... Um, do ones that are in that same family, I think. Oh, I have a funny story to tell you. You will need to become, this is unicorn. Um, uh, you will need to retail Miss Lillian's chalk paint in order to retail the super shifters. Um, but you know, her opening order is, is not high at all. And I, got, I can say nothing but good things about this company. So, I mean, their paint is fantastic. It is one of my favorite paints um, with the built-in top coat. I'm trying to get this off without destroying it. So I would highly recommend it. Um, and then you can carry the full line of the Super Shifters. They're, they're going crazy already. Um, we already sold a bunch of units to the retailers and um, to uh, individuals, mostly from that viral TikTok. All right, this is Unicorn. Okay, this is unicorn. So here's what's funny. This is a lot thicker. So I get in here, I get in the video set up, you guys. I'm all set and I'm like, yay, I've got it together. And I can't find um, the super shifters anywhere. I can't find them. And I'm looking all over and I'm getting really freaking frustrated 
And I'm like, and my door was unlocked when I came in. I'm like, oh my God, did someone steal my super shifters? Like I could not figure it out. And I searched and I searched and I searched. So here's Unicorn. Look at that. Actually, and then this one goes like from a copper to a purple. This is what's at the top of the new piece. Y'all, I'd forgotten that I'd put them all in the fridge. I'd put them all in the fridge um, because it, that, that just keeps them harder um, and so they don't get quite as mushy gushy. Mushy gushy, that's the technical term. All right, let's put that right on there. Um, so I do wanna answer a few questions about these as well that came up. I'm gonna make a bunch of response videos for everybody who had a question. Okay, we might have a problem with the ones I put in the fridge because they don't want to stick. All right, but can you guys see the different shades there? Look at that. So there's that copper color. All right, so I'm going to have to set that there. There's a condensation on the cold ones. Darn it, Sue. You thought you were so smart. I'm going to have to let them get to room temperature because the um, it's not going to stick. Maybe they'll, it's so hot in here, probably by the time we get through the ones that weren't in the fridge. So this one is Hemlock, let's do that. Um, so yeah, Eleanor, um, just reach out to uh, Miss Lillian's, tell her I sent you, and um, hook yourself up. And she, she's just, you know, it, it's not like some multi-thousand, where did I just put the, um, y'all, where did I just put the razor? Um, opening order. You know, she wants you to do well. She wants you to do well. She wants you to stay in business. Um, just lost, there it is, right there in front of me. Um, so I would recommend it. Uh, and her paints don't require top coat, which is just a really nice alternative. Even if you sell any other paint brand, even if you sell Daydream or DIY, um, or Annie Sloan, like all of those re require a top coat. Even Dixie Belle requires a top coat, you know. Um, Dixie Belle mostly if you want it to feel nice. I just, I do not like the feel of it without one. So this is Hemlock. Let's see how we do with Hemlock. Um, so it's a good alternative, you know, paint to sell, especially for beginners. I think Miss Lillian's paint for beginners is stellar because it's just, it's what you see is what you get. You don't have to deal with things reconstituting or changing color, which is fabulous when you get really good at painting. I love my other brands, but when you're first starting out and you've got beginner painters, you know, you might wanna, you know, keep it a little bit more simple. All right, Hemlock, let's see how you do. There we go, look at that. You know, sometimes at different angles it doesn't show up as much, which is just you wait. But I promise on Thursday, now I'm not sure what time we're gonna do Thursday. I think I might do a little early. There we go, look at that. We might go a little bit early um, because I've got a birthday party that night. Um, but I think what we'll do is once I have all these on here, good and tight, I'll be able to, like I got all my paints mixed up so I'm not even gonna remember which one I used where. And everybody's asking me on TikTok, like, TikTok, like which, and Facebook Reels, which one did you use where? And I'm like, oh my God, I tried to keep it straight and I couldn't. So let's put that right on there. And I'll make, I'll make a video of these two if you're not into watching it live today. So isn't that cool? So that's that, but that's the color. Now, there's a lot of shifting blues. So this one shifts blue purple. So there's ones that shift blue pink, Oh, actually, this one's blue copper, blue purple. See, can you see that? So it's really important for you guys to be able to see which way they shift. Like, let me pull these three up. Look how same and different they look. Okay, but when they shift, I don't know if it's going to pick it up well enough, and it's so dark in here. There we go. See, one's purple, one's that copper. There we go. And some of them are very, very subtle differences. I'll be honest, some of them I was like, Marilyn, I don't know if we need both of those. Um, but Marilyn is a more is more kind of gal. I'm picking up the ones that are um, not cold, if 
because those are going to stick. So I only have a few more. Darn it. They're still cold. All right, we'll do a few more. And then we might have to, that, I did not think about that rewarding me for my live today. That's dumb. Okay, do you ship to the UK? Um, that is going to be, I, I don't, I'm not shipping these. So that is going to be a question to ask on um, the Miss Lillian's page. And I'm not sure, actually. Or maybe, or if she has distribution in the UK. That's a really good question. I will try to ask her. But I would look on her site. I got the her link um, here in the comments and hopefully tagged on the piece. So this is Flickr. I'm so excited to have these all done. Um, I, I have no idea if we're going to be able to do this on all of them. I mean, as we sell them, I doubt it. I don't think it would be cost effective necessarily to hire someone to make these stickers. But I would say, and you probably don't even need, I just happen to have these stickers on hand and I painted them black, but you could probably just get black stickers and as soon as you order yours and get it in, you could probably just put that on there and do it yourself. DIY, baby. Um, you'll be able to order off the internet and see exactly what color. Um, for those of you who are gonna be selling them in your shops, I don't know, this might be like, if you, if you opened one and you did a whole sheet, it might be worth it to you to get them to sell better. Um, you know, they're not even in people's hands yet, so I, they're not selling bad. They're, they're just they're too new for that. But I would say if you are going to retail these, this might be a, a rainy day afternoon thing to do that your customers would really, really appreciate. I know I would. All right, so that's Flickr. So that's I think that's what I used on the bottom. Um, also, once I get these on here, I can do another layer. I can do another layer and really um, get the color even stronger. This is just one layer. Do you guys have any other questions for me? There we go. So this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous gold, kind of green, I'm trying to see which way I can move it with the light. Kind of a green gold. Hold on, I'm trying to get this. What did I, oh, I just knocked down my other light. Oh well, such is life. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. Okay, go there, got that. All right, is that making sense? Hey Amber, how are you? All right, let's do, I don't think we're gonna do all of them today, but let's do, let's do whatever ones are not cold. Phoenix, oh, this one's amazing. Let's do Phoenix. Um, one of the big questions was, um, how do you seal it? Well, you don't have to, you kiddos. This is wax. Just like you would put wax as your top coat on top of um, your piece, this is your top coat. This is your top coat. So you don't have to seal it. What you need to do is buff it. Okay, so buffing is what seals it tight. It's what hardens the wax and keeps it on there. Now, can you, all right, Phoenix, just in case anybody's joining us. Can you, um, Put a poly on top of that. Uh, yeah, I believe you can. I, I believe there are people who do that. It's not something I do, but um, sure. So there we go. So you can see these have not been refrigerated, so they're really creamy. And that's that, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just so hot in here. I felt like I should keep them in the fridge, or else they'd be literally like liquid. Run across. Even if I waited just like two minutes and did that again, um, 
it would be a totally different color. But I think this will at least get us started. So that one goes kind of, it's like a reddish. Let's see if I can get that. Get a little bit more on there. Put the sticker on the on the tub first. I could do that. I'm just worried I'd get, um, I want to go, I'll try one. I want to go, I'm kind of going outside the edges so I make sure I get it all the way across. And so if I put it on there first, I just might make a mess. But yeah, let's try it. Let me see if I have another one that's not wet. All right. Yeah, this one has definite red red copper vibes going on. Little That looks a little purple, actually. There we go. Yeah, I'm making a little bit more of a mess doing it that way. But it's a, it's a solid suggestion. Solid. I'm sorry, I'm off camera. And there we go. So can you see that? That's like kind of a copper. Like there, we, there it is. There it is. I have to like get it just right with the light in here because I'm using the light instead of because there's no sunlight. There. Can you see that? Copper to like eggplant. It's not pretty. Oh, it's not pretty. Okay. Copper to eggplant. Let me see. Alright, let me see if I can just wipe off the condensation. I'm afraid it's going to keep condensing. Come on, little waxy. If I hadn't found them right at the end, they wouldn't. I wouldn't be having this issue. But no, my first thought is, who stole them? Who stole them? I've tried to get better about that. You know, I lost things so much when I was younger. And unfortunately, I don't know why, I don't, I don't know if it was some kind of scarcity mentality. So this is Tempest. I would immediately assume it had been stolen. And um, uh, on a scale of one to 10, the percentage of times it was actually stolen was, let's just say very, very few. It was just me misplacing something. Now, since I've had teenagers, I wouldn't call it stealing, but I would definitely say uh, borrowing, I often find almost all of my uh, makeup in Sadie's room when I can't find it. Um, so, you know, now when I can't find something, I check Sadie's room first, and then if it's not there, then it's stolen. <laughs> I guess my mind went there today because my door, I don't know who was here today. Well, I know one of my tenants was here. I'll try it your way, darling. Um, no one of my tenants was here, but my door was propped open when I got here. So I was like, oh, she must be here. Um, but no, she was not here. All right, so I know why I wasn't doing it this way. Well, it's fine. It's not going to fall out, but I was afraid that some of these were so, um, this is Tempest. Some of these were so liquidy because um, it's so hot. Tempest is, is really the green and gold. Actually, but it's a better video doing it this way, isn't it? Because you guys are really seeing it as I put it on. That's kind of the middle layer. Let me see if I can do it this way. All right, well, I think when I film these, I'm gonna have to make sure I just get my lighting exactly right. All right, that worked, that worked. So there we go, there we go. All right, let me see if I can dry off some more for you. Is this okay, you guys? Are you like enough already? I mean, it's not like, um, um, do they look like unicorn skin on white? You know, that's the next thing, this is dragon. That's the next thing I'm gonna do. Um, I'll make a TikTok on that. I'll, I'll probably do that after this is, um, well, actually, if I have some white here, why don't I just do that for you? y'all are being so patient with me let me go get my stickers after dragon we'll put some of this right on white and see how it goes um, that's the question how will they do on lighter colors now uh, we tested these 
um, at my um, at my master class, and we tested them on this really beautiful turquoise dresser, and it was stunning, you know. But it was a it was a dark blue. It was definitely a dark blue. So I'm not sure about the white. Let's try that. Next. Um, Speaking of which, my darlings, we have we're having an encore performance of the master class in October at the She Shed. Not only that, not only that, but we're gonna offer a um, we're doing a twofer. Well, it's not a twofer because they, but you can get a deal if you buy both classes. Um, the number one requested class, in addition to my blending class, was on uh, decoupaging with fabric. So Saturday the 9th, we're going to do decoupaging with fabric. And if you register now, you're going to get a video. Look at that. See, it looks like it's pink, but it's not um, on how to make your own fabric using spoon flour. And if you do it right now, I mean right now, um, or at least in the next week, you'll get the video and you'll be able to order your fabric. And then we will help you. I will help you decoupage right onto your piece with your own fabric. It's, it's going to be a fabulous class. And so what I'm hoping people will do is come to both classes. Um, you'll get a discount to come to both, but it's going to be Saturday the 9th, Sunday the 10th. All right, so which one was that? That one was Dragon. Oh, this isn't the same. Let me see. It doesn't matter. This is just a white sticker. So let's do that right here and see how that looks. Um, so I hope you guys will, uh, well, I think right now she has the wait list up, but the class only holds 20. We realized 20 was really the max. Um, and so there's 14 people on the waiting list. I'm just going to be honest with you. There's 14 people on the waiting list right now. Um, it doesn't mean that all of them will sign up, but they have first dip. So definitely go. I think she's listed it on the website. Um, I was today. All right, so here's what's beautiful about these waxes. Unlike other waxes that I've tried, um, no diss on those other waxes, but uh, they get splotchy. And this paint, this does not get splotchy. So I want you to see that. So look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Maybe I should do one that has a little bit more um, color in it. So here's what I want to explain. There's two things going on right now. There's a color and there's a shift, hence the shifters. So the base color is really that pink, okay? And then the shift is really that champagne. But that means that both angles look really good and you can really um, blend this out really smoothly. Really, really smoothly. And if for whatever reason it is clumping, just get a little bit of clear wax. But I think that's pretty beautiful. Should we do another one like that? Thank you for that suggestion. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it focused for you. Just lost all focus. It means it's Adderall. Okay, all right, let's do, um, actually let's do, um, Let's do Tempest. Now I'm getting sidetracked, but you know, that works. So I think I'm gonna have to make a video of each of these on white and, oh jeez, because I'm working on my blocks. So I think maybe what I need to do is do one color in the black and maybe the other color in the white. Is that what I'm gonna have to do? I don't wanna buy more blocks. I'm too stingy. All right, Tempest, let's do Tempest. Now, I will say you want to really, you want a bit of a stiffer brush so you can spread it out really well. And I might even suggest that you do put a base layer underneath. Like I said, these are meant for black, um, for, for going over black or dark, dark colors. But it doesn't mean that's your only option. Damn. What y'all think about that? That's gorgeous. I didn't even know they worked that well on white. God, will you 
please focus. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, let me hold it still. Or maybe put my hand there. Maybe it doesn't know what I wanted to focus on. Focus on that, right there. All right, can you guys kind of get the gist? Y'all want to see another one? Just let me know. Maybe if I pull back the camera, maybe it's too zoomed in. All right, is there, yeah. I'll just keep the camera out a little bit. Okay, any others you want to see that way on the white? Um, don't worry, I will definitely be spending most of my waking hours making videos of each of these colors, obviously on white <laughs> and on black, because I guess that's going to be my life now. Um, all right, let's do some more. Let's do some more. We'll do black and white. Um, let's do Lady of the Lake. And oh, they're warmed up enough now, so I think we're good. I don't think they're going to get all sweaty. Get all sweaty on me with me. That's why I'm not going on camera today. I was at the pool. I'm a, I'm a hot mess and not in that sexy Instagram way. That fake sexy Instagram hot mess mom way. More like, yeah, no, I'm not even going to bother. Okay, Lady of the Lake. Let's see how you do that one. Um, it is fun to experiment and play, isn't it? I mean, that's what I live for, you guys. That's what I live for. Figuring out what, pushing it to the limit, right? Always pushing it to the limit. Whatever it says it'll do, what else will it do? What else will it do? I used to have a show on Debbie's page, Debbie's Design Diary. You know, what won't this paint do? I did have fun playing with that a lot. Oh, I meant to do it right on the thing. I'm sorry, I blew it. I blew it. Let me get a little bit on my brush though so we can put that on the white. I'll switch back, don't worry. Because that way it was actually better. You guys could see it better. So this is like a bright turquoise blue. Um, I'm going to be, you know what I'm going to be really curious about, you guys, is the difference. Some of these shift fairly similarly to each other. I mean, none of them are exactly the same, but some of them are similar in on black. But I wonder um, how similar they will be to each other on white. I just, I, I'm very curious about that. And when I make these videos, I'll make sure my camera is right there so you're, you're just, and the light, so you're seeing it better than on this live. Oh, goodness gracious, look at that. That's pretty. That's like some really pretty icy blue. I think what is different with these on white, and I'm looking at them right here. And the reason I was dubious of them on white is, I wanna see if you can see this. They do spread very evenly, but do you see how there's a little bit of streakiness? There, I mean, it's not bad, but you just wanna be careful or make it deliberate because you're seeing that um, the pigmentation build up a little there. So what I might do if I'm using these on a light color is just be really careful about spreading it probably a lot thinner than I normally would. Ooh, let's do, actually that's still warm. Let's do, um, let's do Jester. Um, than I normally would, I might even mix it with a little bit of clear wax before I put it on. That's all. Because that's always the issue when you're dealing with metallics. You want to make sure that you're testing them from both angles. Okay. So, Jester, let's see how you do, Jester. Put you on the bottom first. He's warmed up enough. 
they won't slip right off. Yes, it is a really beautiful ice blue. Okay. Okay, let's see. Ready? This one, I love this one. If you want turquoise, this is the one for you. So the shimmer, there we go. this one goes a little bit purple. I'm trying to get you the purple angle. I'm having trouble getting the purple angle. Come on now. You might have to just trust me on this one. Um, as I pull it away from myself. Can you see it there, kind of? It goes purple to turquoise. I hope you can see it. All right, let's get some out and put that on the white. Um, and it also kind of matters which way you kind of brush it. You can kind of adjust it a little bit, like if you're going left and right or up and down, how, how it refracts the, um, the mica. A little bit dubious of the darker colors doing well over white, but I will certainly try it for you guys. Because that darker mica gets kind of hidden in the black so it doesn't look clumpy. But, look at that. But what I will say is, you know, white is the absolute hardest. The absolute hardest. Right? It's going to show everything. It's like wearing black with your dogs. It's going to show everything. So I would say putting this over any kind of blue, you're not going to see um, any streakiness at all. I would say go for it. I would say go for it. I mean, a lot of people ask me, like, well, what will work over what? And what will work over what? Well, I'm going to test it as much as I can for you, my friends. But at a certain point, you know, if I've trained you well, you're going to push it to the limit. You're gonna push it to the limit yourself. Um, Cause that's the best way to learn how these work. And then come back and tell me, all right, this one is Pegasus. Oh, this is one of my favorites. And then come back and tell me what you did. <laughs> all right, I will tell you the only disappointing thing at all in doing this big piece is that, y'all are gonna laugh at me. Um, I was prepared for so much hate when I started painting the piece. I mean, just the idea of painting the piece had people apoplectic. And I knew what I was doing. I knew I was stirring the pot. I, I, I knew it. I knew I was being a bad girl. But I thought it'd be funny anyway. Um, but much to my dismay, out of, I think we're up to about half a million views, at least a thousand comments. Um, I think I've gotten one comment uh, that said I liked it before. One. Y'all, that's no fun. <laughs> that's no fun. I wanted, I wanted to fight. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's all right. I'm just such a bad person. All right, Pegasus. Let's see what you got. Pegasus. Pegasus is, oh my gosh, wait, I must not have wiped off my brush. Hold on. I thought Pegasus was more pinky purple than that. I think I had a little bit too much blue left on. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely misremembering. Let's try it. There is a lot of blue undertone. I can see that. Nope, that was it. Now, on camera, it looks turquoise like the last one, but it's not. It is not. It is not turquoise. It is a very, it's just the way the light's picking it up. I'm just going to have to do these in natural light because this is very purple. This is purple pink. That's not really showing up.
Can you see that purple right there when I kind of shift it? There, there. You see it? You see it? Boom! Oh, there it is. There it is. God, that's hard. It's hard to get it. Um, it still looks great on a piece. I mean, but the idea won't be that you're taking your furniture piece and like moving it around to show your guests. Your guests will be sitting in one place and they'll look up and it'll look one way and then they'll sit somewhere else and they'll be like, wait, I thought that was pink. It's purple? That's, that's going to be the fun of it, just depending on where they're sitting. Okay, um, this one, I'm not sure if I'm digging it on white, but let me hold my, hold my judgment. Hold your judgment, Sue. I want to make sure you really, you really just kind of depositing mostly the mica. You want to do very, very little of the actual pigment. And you can do that. You can totally do that. Um, so I'm actually kind of scraping it up. Oh yeah, look at that. You all see that shimmer? That is really nice, really nice. All right, so I would say that one, uh, you just, I mean, and it's really purpley. See, there we go. It's really purpley, but see, on that level, you're gonna get a peach. And when you pull up, you're gonna get that shimmery purple. So you just need to make sure that you're gonna, that you're aware of that, okay? Just want you to be safe with your shifters. Safe. Shifter safety. <laughs> oh, I'm just cracking myself up. Okay, let's do nightshade. We're almost going to get through these. I think we're going to get through these. I feel like I have misplaced some of these. I, I'm going to have to look and see. Who keeps calling over and over and over again? I'm not doing this on my phone, so. Where is my phone? I hear it beeping. Unless it's Jonna calling me right now to tell me you guys can't hear me again, and I'm just ignoring her. That was funny. Okay, so on there, this is nightshade. nightshade. Not to be confused with deadly nightshade um, by Daydream. I just put one coat of, of Miss Lillian's Onyx on this paper. One heavy coat, that's it. Again, this is very purple. I'm gonna hold up the other one to it. That is not showing up as purple on this camera. That is the problem with blues and purples. They're not always as accurate as you'd like them to be. Oh, there you go, can you see that? Can you see the purple shift? There we go. A little bit of that on the white. Oh, you did? <laughs> I was never able to wear light lipstick. It just did not look good on my skin at all. Um, even a rag where you can get off where you can really like I'm, on, I'm not even like scraping this back so I have very 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 little pigment even use your finger and kind of mush it around a little bit very very little pigment and then you kind of just get full shift see how those two look almost exactly alike but here you can see that one's a little bit more rose and one's a little bit more blue Here they are together. Here, you can kind of 
Taxi. I think these were these were ones where I was like, I don't know if we need both of these, but they're I mean one's Pegasus and one is Nightshade. And they're just slightly, slightly different. This one definitely has the pink definitely has more of a pink undertone. And Pegasus definitely has more of a purple undertone. Um, Y'all, look, you're just going to have to buy all of them. That's just all it's going to be. Actually, I do think we're going to work on putting together sets um, of these. So you could buy them um, in a set. Like if you're worried you don't want to order two that are too similar or something like that. Um, or it might be like whatever piece I create. This is Minerva. This is the first one I tried. Um, then, uh, you know, or you want to get like just what I used over on the Gothic piece, whose name I haven't come up with yet. Um, I'll put, I'll like, I'll put all those together. Uh, uh, Marilyn and I and uh, Leslie, who is, um, helps with all the website and social media today, had a lovely powwow on things. So we're going to, we're going to make sure that you guys can see this stuff really well. Trust me. All right, Minerva. Let's do it. You put the white sticker on the lids and the black one on the bottom or half and half on the bottom to show the difference. Yeah. That's a good idea. I might be able to go back and just do white on the top because you're right. I don't need this. I don't need the label now, and I know my own name. Um, that's a good idea. Or actually, those of you who are going to retail this, I mean, you could do it as an upsell. You could make, um, you could say here, you can buy the stickers for this set, you know, for an extra $10 or something. I don't know. That's Minerva. So Minerva is definitely like this eggplant and blue. Plant and blue color. So let's put her over here. Um, also, I'm doing this straight on this sticker paper, which is very absorbent. So I'll bet you that even with some of the very little streakiness I'm having here, if you were to do this on a slicker surface, um, you might not have any, I'm trying to wipe that down so you don't, so it's like a watercolor, there you go, so it's like a watercolor, can you see that, sorry, I may have wiped off too much, no you can kind of see it, so it has like a blue undertone and then a little bit of the um, purple on top. So, you know, these are all like crafted and mixed by Marilyn. It's not just like, let's dump in some mica powder. I mean, it was a real careful, you know, um, balancing act of the color and the shift to make sure that they would work really well. So here you can kind of see the difference here. See how much purple that one is? There we go. All right. Just a few more. Just a few more. Y'all want to hang with me? Give me one second. I got to see who keeps calling me because it's stressing me out. I'll be right back. Uh-huh. As I suspected, Sadie. This one is Arthur, I'm seeing the theme. Yeah, Dasha had a game tonight. Watch much of her game yesterday, it was just a scrimmage. Um, Y'all, in a 20 minute scrimmage, she scored eight 
goals. Eight. Eight. Girl can play soccer, man. We're hoping she gets a good scholarship. She's a senior. Um, I was texting her dad. I like, just, I just was texting like the number of goals, like one, two, three. Actually, I started when she hit six goals, and I was like seven, eight. It was insane. Oh, look at that! Oh my God, this is gorgeous. I don't think I used Arthur in the piece, but I probably should have. So this is, oh God, this is amazing. So this is like copper eggplant. Copper and eggplant. That's amazing. And you can, I mean, you can kind of see it in this one. It's still hard to tell though. All right. So the copper is gonna really, the copper is the base on this. So let's see how they do it. And believe it or not, we've even ordered some more colors to try, as if we're not gonna make you apoplectic enough with just these. So there you go, isn't that pretty? So, so here's what I would say, it's something like this. Although I'm not a big proponent of painting things beige or grayish or buff, if you painted your piece that brown color, if you did a brown piece and then put that on top of that, oh my goodness, would that be amazing. So in all of these, if the piece is blue, use it, turquoise. Like just reach for that undertone and that way you have just a little bit more um, wiggle room, I guess I'd say. I guess that's how I put it, for it not to look clumpy. I just don't want it to look clumpy. It doesn't have to. All right, alchemy. We've got three more after this. Al oh, this is greeny gold. This one's really cool. Oh, I'm gonna jinx myself. I was like, oh, I haven't even cut myself yet. And then I was like, oh, don't say that, because then you'll you'll do it right on camera. Okay, alchemy. So Sadie got her registration for her truck today, and I said to her yesterday, she's like, I'm just gonna run to the DMV in the morning, get my registration, and then make it to work. I was like, um, Miss Grace. That's not how the DMV works. She's like, no, I've got everything I need. I double checked everything. I was like, I don't know how to explain this to you exactly, but the DMV is there to make sure that there's one thing you're missing. And the fact that you're gonna walk up with an energy that says, I haven't forgotten anything, means that you are asking for it. You are demanding that they tell you, you need one more thing. And I wanted her to learn the ways of the world. And the ways of the world is knowing that nothing is easy at the DMV. It is never you just go in there and it is never clear exactly what you're supposed to bring. And even if you bring it, they will inevitably tell you that that's not the right thing. So all of this equated to me getting settled on my porch, getting my cup of coffee, look at that. Get my cup of coffee, opening up my blog, I'm way behind on posting on my blog because I've been working on this piece. And I was so happy, just like chilling. Get a call from Sadie. She's really upset because they won't let her, because she's 17. She forgot to mention that she's 17. They won't let her register her truck without a parental signature. Did I mention the DMV is 25 minutes away and it was rush hour? Did I go? Yes, I did. How excited she was to get her truck today. And she worked so hard. She got insurance for it. She did all the repairs herself. She got it inspected. Um, she got the truck for, let's see, two or three thousand. She put in four or five thousand. Um, that was that was expected though. And she could sell the truck now for over ten. Uh, so it was a good investment. I'm proud of her. I, I knew she didn't want to wait. 
but I was like, Sadie, I told you this is how the DMV works. She's like, no, you didn't. You didn't tell me that. Here's my rule with my family. You are allowed to say, so this is alchemy, that you did not hear me. You are not allowed to say, I didn't say it. Y'all with me? Are y'all moms with me on that? Look at that green. I am so sick of being in a family where people say, I didn't say things that I know I said. Because of course I said it. Hold on, I'm trying to get that really reflecting. And it's okay. You could admit that you weren't listening or you didn't hear me or you were distracted. There it is. Isn't that amazing? But you can't tell me I didn't say it. All right. Not allowed. All right, wizard. Wizard is very similar. Let's see. Um, so that's my rule. Do you guys have a rule like that? You can't tell me I didn't say it. You can just tell me you didn't hear it. And that protects us both. I know I've said that before on this. That protects us both. If you didn't hear it, it could mean that I never said it. It could mean that your brain is a sieve. Or it could mean that I speak at mom frequency that is constantly tuned out by every single member of my family. Um, and so they didn't hear it. Yep, Tasha, same family. I swear to God. Y'all know I've run away from home three times this summer and nobody's noticed? Yep. Yep. have a different cleanliness level than the rest of my family. It's just, you can't ask people to clean what they don't see. And it's taken me 20 years to realize that no one in my family sees things. I thought they just, you know, were lazy or obstinate, which sometimes is true. Um, wizard, all right, let's go wizard. So this has a lot of green too. But you know what I've, I've come to realize, you guys, is that's not, that's, I mean, that could be it, but I don't think that's really it. I think that we see things, I, they don't see what I see. Like their, their senses don't pick up. I don't know if it's my ADD or what, even though they have it too. Oh my God, isn't that wild? So look at that, the peach, but that's the color. Um, hold on, I need a Coke break. So, not that you guys are on here for um, life advice necessarily, but here's what I've started doing. No, they don't, Betty. So I've been on strike for the last month. I'm not doing it angrily. I'm not doing it to be mean. I'm not doing it to get anybody back or prove a point. I'm just not doing it. I'm just tired. I'm just tired. So what's happened is the dog fur, y'all don't want to come to my house right now. It's disgusting. Um, the dog fur has piled up. The slobber is covering the, the windows in the front room because they love to sit on the couch. Can't even see through it. You do not want to even step in my kitchen because your feet will stick to the floor. Um, if you have allergies, don't even get near my house because the fur is literally flying. Am I grossing you out yet? So um, the dishes are done, but nothing else is wiped off. The new fridge is covered in fingerprints. Um, I'm not saying this to like brag or freak you guys out or to scare you from coming to my home, but I'm just a mom who's tired and I'd rather make art and I'd rather play so what I've done to protect myself is I have created little pockets of places where I can exist. So the porch this summer has been my saving grace. I have a neat little tiny place where I sit and I work. I have my plugs. I have a fan. There's no fur because I'm outside. I also have turned my room into my oasis. I'm not saying you guys have to do this. I'm just saying if you've reached the end of your rope like I have, um, Rune, and you don't want to fight with your teenagers anymore or your spouse, this is Rune. I'm just saying, you know, this, I mean, it's still hard, 
and I realized I can't not clean the bathroom because I just can't stand it and it's actually not safe you know you don't want to have mildew I did let that go for a few weeks and I, I'm like I can't even shower in here I have to I have to just clean the bathroom um, so I'll clean the bathroom and I clean my dishes and I have and I took over the dining room and made that into my living room and put a door on it and you know what's really beautiful so I've got my bedroom I've got the dining room I'm cleaning the bathroom and I'm letting the rest of the house completely go to shit um, because nobody notices they haven't noticed that I've commandeered certain things they haven't noticed uh, that I've commandeered rooms in the house that are now blocked off. I love my family, but I also love my sanity. And I only have a little while longer with my girl, and my boy's already at college, and I don't want to spend the whole time arguing over house cleaning. Yeah, no, they don't. They don't, they just don't notice. And um, Rune, here's Rune. Um, Rune is amazing. Look at this, this is like white. We've got one more after this, then we're done. Look at that. It's like an opal, it's an opal color. Um, so anyway, don't, please don't take this as like me, you know, being mean or lashing out. I'm just, I'm just trying to take care of myself. And, and, you know, enjoy, Oh, look, see, there's the purple. Oh, see, the sun's coming out now, so now I can get that shift. Boom, there it is. Um, so, you know, take it for what you will or not. I guess I just decided to stop being angry about it. Like, I see color. What if I were colorblind? What if I were colorblind? and I couldn't see certain colors. Like, would somebody be mad at me because I can't see those colors? No, it's just the way I am. So is there a certain amount of learned indifference? Um, don't get me started on that. Yes, I do think there is. I do think women bear more of the responsibility for noticing the details and the cleaning and all of that. And there's a certain amount of learned helplessness. Um, but I also am realizing that it is about things that just aren't noticed. You know, I can see that my son really doesn't see things the way I see them. So fighting with him is just not how I want to spend my time. And I'm not saying I've gotten perfect at this, trust me. I've been very angry this summer, very frustrated of the health hazard that is his room. But I finally was like, let's just go to lunch. Let's just go hang out. And I just won't look at your room. And I will go to my little porch little porch party. All right, my lady. Here she is, last one, my lady. And then I'll do a wrap up here of all of them. I'll try to take the, I'll try to take the camera. It's kind of, it's, uh, it's mounted, but I'll see if I can do it. I'd love to know what you guys have done, because I know I'm not alone in this. I mean, you can get on Reddit and hear a million moms talk about this. So that one's even more purple. I think I need to make sure when I film that it is a sunny day so I can do that and that. And that way I'll get both colors. Booyah. Okay, purple, blue. For room. Um, I must do a little bit of room on here. Oh wow, room is like crystal clear on here. Let's see, you can even see it. It's so subtle. Also, probably didn't have enough on my brush. Let's try it. I know the old adage like, oh, you're so upset when your teenagers are destroying their house, and the only thing worse than that is your teenagers leaving the house. And um, I do think that there's a certain amount of truth in that. Oh, look at that. Can y'all see it? 
that one's a very, very subtle. Very subtle. It's hard to see that one. But look at that. Look at all of those. All right, let me see. Now that the sun is out and they're all reflecting beautifully. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's a webcam that I'm using today. So now you can see, all right? So I'm just gonna, I won't get each color, but I wanna show you the color shifts. That one's got a great shift in it. I love that shift. So that one's like peach to green. That one's definitely copper to that deep fuchsia. Fuchsia purple. There we go. All right. Sadie Mondial. Uh huh. There's Sadie Mondial. Sadie, I'm on my live, which means you're on my live. Oh, hello, live. Hello, live. Uh, sorry, I thought I was going to take a um, I was just telling you I was going to go rock climbing. You were telling me or you were asking me? Well, I was asking you because you didn't reply to my text, so now I'm going to help you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what time will you be home? Uh, probably around 8 now. Oh, I see. So the whole, we're going to clean out the truck tonight from camp. this later. How's the new truck? <laughs> Ask me it's getting an answer. All right. I love you. Please stop texting and driving. Bye. Love you. Okay. All right, guys. I think that's it. Welcome into my little world. You see what I'm up against. She's just too freaking adorable. Um, all right. I hope this helps. I promise I'll make individual videos for all of these. I so appreciate you guys hanging out with me and doing this today. Um, this was actually a lot of fun, and I'm really glad that we got to hang out together and um, talk about life and shifting colors. Sorry, this is probably making you dizzy. Um, and let me know if there are any other colors that you're like, Sue. Like for me personally, I still want red. Um, so uh, I'm still searching for red. Um, so let us know, let me and um, Marilyn know if there are any other colors that aren't represented. All right. All right, kiddos. I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.